Good day. Today I'd like to show you how to connect the Expert MK2 inverter to a B3 Tiny-S battery. Um, unfortunately, this Expert MK2 inverter is not equipped with an internal BMS communications device. Hence the reason for that you need to purchase an external uh, BMS box. Um, do take note that because this is an Expert MK2 inverter, you need to get an expert BMS box, um, otherwise the communication will not work. Um, so let's start the wiring first. Um, starting with the power, um, do take note this device obviously do need power to communicate with the two devices. Um, so do make sure you run power from the output of the inverter to the BMS box for the logical um, reason that if the power should fail on utility um, that you will still power up the device the BMS box for as long as the inverter is on um, so running um, I should maybe just mention as well that this box do not come with a power supply However, because it's running on 5 volts DC, um, which is your USB 5 volt, um, as in this case it uses a printer, old normal USB printer port to power up. You can use any USB power supply. So if you use any cell phone power supply, for argument's sake, run it from the output of the inverter. Um, to the DC 5 volt input. <coughs> Secondly, for communication between the BMS box and the inverter, you can use any networking cable with the normal networking color codes. Um, any network, normal internet cable will work. Um, from the inverter, RS-232 port, you run the networking cable to the BMS box, RS-232. Now, just to mention, this is an RS-232 port, it is not an internet port. This inverter do not have internet communication on this port, it does not speak the same language. Hence the reason the port is marked as RS-232 and the BMS box is marked RS-232 as well. Um, so it's just a normal communication port running from RS-232 to RS-232 does not matter the right direction of the cable. Secondly, the cable running between the battery and the BMS box. If you use a normal networking cable, again with the normal color coding, this you can connect to the battery, to the batteries in. And the battery in will run to a modified plug. So when you cut the side that go to the BMS port, you will use pin the green and white uh, cable, and that will run to pin number three, and then orange and white to pin number four. Now just to be sure. Pin number three on the battery side, green and white. Go to the BMS side, green and white, pin number three as well. Battery side, orange and white, which is pin number one on the battery side. We'll run to pin number four um, to the BMS side and that will be connected 
to the BMS port on the BMS box. Okay, all cables are connected. We're ready to power on. Before we power on, um, I would suggest to start with the battery. Um, now, before you switch on the battery, we need to set the dip setting for a master battery. Without a master battery, there will not be communication between the BMS box and the inverter. Um, to set this module as the master, you need to set dip number two in the on position. So dip number one is off, dip number two is on, dip number three off, dip number four off. Now we can switch on the battery um, and the board rate will take effect as the setting was done while the battery was off. Now that everything is powered on, um, let's uh, check the firmware. Um, while you're on the home screen, you only need to press the up button once and you will see a U1 number. U1 is your control board firmware and in this case I'm running U15002. Um, this is the correct firmware for the BMS box. If it's an older version, it will be updated. Let's say for argument's sake it's U15000, then you need to update it to U15002. Um, get in touch with me so that I can provide you the correct version firmware. Press escape. Now, Currently, the communication is not yet locked as you do not see any sign of communication. Um, it does take a few seconds, I think approximately one minute to, for argument's sake, um, for it to kick in. There we go. As you can see, the battery capacity bars immediately jumped from 50% to 100% with your LI icon on display. Now obviously because your LI icon is displaying, um, that's your telltale sign that the communication is established. Hence the reason why your battery capacity bars increased because it's now actually measuring the voltages for a lithium ion battery, um, which is way different from or lead acid batteries um, and that's done we're ready to go thank you very much